Okay, try to be right here, right now, with the breath coming in the breath going out. The problem is right here, right now, it's not totally a great place. It was cold outside. But fortunately, you're not just stuck with what's right here, right now. You can make a few changes. Try to focus on the warm parts of your body. Just make a survey from the head on down to the toes. What's the warmest spot in your body right now? We'll take your attention right there. Focus right there. Be with the warmth. And if it's going to spread from there, okay, let it spread. In other words, you have choices in the present moment where you're going to focus your attention and how you're going to look at what you've got. And one of the purposes of the teaching is to give you a wider range of choices as to what you can do with what you've got in the present moment. After all, I've been working with the breath, learning how to stay with the breath coming in, going out, and thinking about the breath in different ways and realizing that that broadens the range of your, your choices of how you can shape the present moment in a better direction. Because you always find that there's something not quite right in the present moment, but you can make some changes. If you can't ch make changes in the body, at least make changes in your attitude. The fact that you're sitting here quietly, you're not disturbing anybody else, you're not creating any trouble for yourself or anybody else. That's a choice you've made right there, and it's a good thing that you're able to find some quiet, because the mind it, it lives in the ordinary world nowadays. It's just so totally frazzled with multitasking, multi-games, and multi-whatever. It has no time to gather itself together and just have that sense of well-being that comes when the mind is gathered here in the present moment. So there is pleasure to be found here. You know where to look, even in bad situations, even in difficult situations. There is a sense of well-being that you can nurture inside, and that can keep you going. So that when things are too cold or things are too hot, you've got a way to deal with the heat and deal with the cold. When things are going too well, and it is possible for things to go too well, you start getting complacent, you start getting lazy. You have to be able to choose how not to get carried away by that. In other words, you do have choices in the present moment, and we're here to learn how to make the most of those choices, to realize the range of possibilities that's there for how much well-being we can create, both for ourselves and for other people. So look into the possibilities and expand your idea of the possibilities that, you, that face you right here, right now. And you find you can go through life with a much better sense of inner well-being. <laughs>